Hey everyone, this is Neo once again from the Overclocker magazine. So today I'm here to talk to you about the XPG Spectrix D45G memory kit. So this is a 16 gigabyte kit. Now I know nobody's looking to buy 16 gigabytes of memory right now, especially since 32 gigabytes seems to be the new standard. However, hear me out. This kit is relatively cheap at 1,775 and it has some pretty decent RGB if you like that sort of thing. So for that sort of price and the sort of frequency this memory comes in at, I don't think that this is actually a very bad memory kit. In fact, it's one of the better value memory kits that money can buy at the moment. So what do you get for your 1700 or just under 1800 at Progenix, by the way? So for that, you are actually getting a Micron Rev E based DRAM kit. And that means there are certain things that you can take advantage of, particularly if you're running 11th gen or 12th gen, which is where I tested this memory kit and that automatically means you are limited to or not limited but I would like to say you want to go for gear one mode when you are running this sort of memory with this sort of IC or at least this particular sort of memory and the reason I say you want to run gear one is because if you want to try and go for gear two and high frequencies you may have a hard time doing that for instance I spent a lot of time testing this memory kit on a two dim board that's actually the Aura's uh, Z590 Tachyon. I mean, I've been able to do 5333 on a Hynix kit on this very same motherboard, and I was able to do 5000 on another uh, Rev E based uh, uh, memory kit on the same motherboard. So I know that it has the legs underneath it. But what happened with this memory kit is that even though it's rated at 3600, realistically, the best frequency that I could do in gear one mode was 3733 i mean if you're running on 12th gen you may be able to get away with up to 4000 i know some people who can go up to even 4200 when they're running gear one mode but even if you are able to go to 4200 if you're running white gear one mode on your system this memory or this particular kit that i had doesn't necessarily like those high frequencies in fact the highest frequency i could actually do was 4000 regardless of what uh voltage that i used and as a result of that i think the best thing that you want to do in that such a situation is just stick to gear one mode and run tighter timings and particularly sub timings and just leave it at that and talking about that compromise or rather that state that i settled the memory at 3733 wasn't so bad if you think about it because if you talk geekbench it actually took the score from the low 7000s like 7400 at default XMP and took me up to 8,100. Yes, I know that's not a super score by any measure, but remember, we're not talking about BDI here. And on top of that, gear one mode allows me to get better game performance than I otherwise would, even if I could get this memory to say do 4,400, because I would still be doing 4,400, but that means my IMC frequency is really low and that's gonna hurt performance. So. Yeah, I may not have been able to do 4400 as I would have liked or as another DRAM kit did reliably, same ICs. But at the end of the day, it actually makes no difference because the best performance with the Rev E ICs that are on this Spectrix memory kit is going to be in gear one mode. And that's more times than not going to be limited to frequencies sub 4000. I think in terms of what you should be expecting from the D45G, you should generally be expecting to get a, a Rev E IC. And with that, of course, there will be some limitations in terms of frequency and so forth. But if you're willing to tune and run gear one mode, you're still going to get really decent performance from this as I can show you right now. Having said that, what do you think of the aesthetic element of this memory? I think it's basic, right? I think it's just a black, it's a, it's a black heat sink with some RGB. Oh, and by the way, you can get the same kit for a slightly lower price without the RGB. So it can come in even cheaper than the price that I told you about that's 1775 at progenix so if you want an even cheaper kit and you don't mind this sort of performance you can consider going for that kit instead which does not have the rgb but if you like the rgb and want that sort of thing then definitely consider this kit however from where i'm sitting i really think that you should if you can and you are interested in a 16 gigabyte kit then rather stretch your budget a little bit if possible pay about 400 bucks more no it could be about 300 and something more and you can actually get the 4133 kit of the exactly the same d45 g's but with that i have it on good authority that a lot of these ic's are actually hynix ic's meaning that you are going to be able to take advantage of gear 2 mode but actually make it work for you because you can get to those high frequencies whereas if you stick with 
the rev e i see is on this memory you're going to be running gear one either way it'll depend on, upon you what you want to use your computer for but i would definitely say it's worth paying a little bit more and getting the 4133 kit but if you're not able to do that it's still all good because you can tune this memory and make it perform so overall what do i think of this memory i would have liked to see it do a little bit more but the fact that it was able to do 3733 and even 3866 on the 12th gen platform was it 3866 i think it was 3800 can't be sure about that but anyway it was able to go a little bit higher but the long and the short of it is that i was still limited to running gear one mode because just the high frequencies it just wouldn't do 3733 could be better but i'm happy with it anyway that's what i have to tell you about the xpg spectrix d45g an entry-level kit not bad for the price but if you are interested in this kit i suggest you go for the 4133 or get the non-RGB version, then you can get a cheaper price. So choose between the two. Either way, let me know what you think about this kit. Remember to share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. So take care and peace.